Without further ado, I'd like to bring to the mic Silwal Sidel, who is the chair and founder of FFBJ. Silver. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for coming tonight. And uh, the reason why we came tonight was to actually hear Max C. So I'm actually going to go now and uh, just give a round of applause to Max C, yes? <laughs> okay. I, I just really want to say that facilitator Sobeto in Jamaica, can we? My mother in Jamaica would not like if that picture is shown there. Can you hand this to the, the, the video camera is shown on it and uh, so I don't have objection to the picture, but uh, my mother might see the, the film. Uh, Facilitators for Better Jamaica, FFBJ, was uh, started um, by myself um, a couple of years ago, 2003 to be frank. I used to write a lot of articles for the papers in Jamaica um, when I had issues. So because I was involved in different organizations politically and so, when I want to say something independent with a sort of personal touch, I use facilitator so better in Jamaica. So it was over one man band. And everybody used to say, what is this facilitator so better in Jamaica? So that was my way of being independent. Then as years go by, then people start to wonder, what is this FFDJ? Then it started to run away from me, whereby I started to now pull a team of people together and say, listen, this thing is actually moving a bit too fast for me. So let us see if we can sort of hold it back and sort of build it. FFPJ, as what it says, is a think tank lobby group where we speak upon issues which affect Jamaica internationally, here and everywhere. I say that because Jamaica is now becoming a country which is borderless. You have the same amount of people in Jamaica as the same amount of people outside of Jamaica. And when we say, for better Jamaica, people say, well, what can you do here to affect Jamaica? But I say, hang on a second. If you look in this room, case on point, everybody here are Jamaicans, or even um, honorary Jamaicans, or knighted Jamaicans. So that means to say we need to build also a better Jamaica here, and to strengthen the Jamaican community here. So that is also Jamaica. I'm Silburn Sidiel, I'm the founder director of Facilitators for a Better Jamaica, which is FFBJ. It's a lobby group where we speak up on issues affecting Jamaica. And on top of that, I'm a lawyer by profession. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. There's much more, but uh, I'll leave that one for now. <laughs> this man is being very silent. But yeah. anyway, of course, this is a spectacular event. It started up, people talking, mingling. Yes. What do you really hope to achieve from this event here this evening? What I really hope to achieve is just what you said, people talking and mingling and FFBJ just stay on the back side, if anything, and facilitate the process. Because when we have our forums in the past, which are a bit high press under the microscope forum, we meet a lot of people who have a small amount of time to talk about what they do. So what I said, why not bring them together in an environment where there's no pressure, have some drinks and just chill under the ambit of facilitators for better Jamaica, which is, and the, 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 the most important thing that they have in common will be Jamaica and networking. That's sounding really huge because it's what you just hit it on the head and you said, yeah. most time you go abroad, you go anywhere and you meet people, you don't have the time to really interact. Yeah. So the fact that they have the main thing in common is going to be awesome. It's very important that we build our economic cloud. That is why we have business persons here. And at the same time, we need to also build our economic, sorry, our political clubs. That is why I don't have a problem with uh, someone being a Labour, someone being a Conservative, someone being a Liberal, as long as you're not a PNP, you know what I'm saying, Mike? You know? And um, you know, so, so that is one of the angles which I want to really share about FFBJ. And for tonight, you know, we're going to let Mr. Um, Benj Enoch, who is from the, the Diaspora Lake, um, organization, they're going to be speaking about some um, projects where they want to sort of build um, sort of financial um, structures in Jamaica when it comes on to uh, alumni with their project which he's talking about. And FFBJ just want to help to facilitate that process. So what FFBJ is about? A facilitating process. So we will not tell you what to do, but we want you to join up. 
We've got Maxine is going to be around. Um, Sanchez is going to be around um, accepting membership. Membership is ten pounds, and that is really to get things going. Uh, we actually the real reason why we did the ten pounds was because when people put their money, they sometimes sort of take a bit more interest in it. When we just say, and at the same time we say general members, which we still want that because it is important that we have the numbers. If we want to go to uh, uh, down the street and we want something to happen, we don't want to say, let us now try to organize and get 2,000, 10,000 names. We want to say, hang on a second, FFPG already got 20,000 names. And then by that we say, listen, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm talking Gordon Brown, or whatever. But David Cameron, what can I say? Uh, eventually, of course, that's a political lie, there you go. Laugh, laugh. But in, in that way, on a serious note, we want to build lead bridges, we want to build clout. And, and in that way, that is what Epic Beach is about. So I really want to thank you tonight for, for coming on a Tuesday evening, which is phenomenal because Gold Coast is always. Um, Busy on a Tuesday evening, quote unquote, and uh, many people don't go on a Tuesday evening. But we want to thank you for coming, and uh, please enjoy the rest of the evening. And uh, should I give Mr. Uh, Maxi? So thank you very much. Thank you. It's been awesome. Yes. What are you yeah. thinking? No, I think it was good, and I, I believe that as it builds and the momentum builds, we'll have to have a, a, a bigger venue for people to just sit and talk. That's the most important thing because if you recall when they were trying to get people to come and to listen to the speakers here, <clears throat> you could not get the people to come because they were all talking. And that is what is very important. It's not about what is going to be said from the front, but is that they are talking, getting to know each other, mingling, and, um, and that's what FFBJ is about, facilitating for better Jamaica, talking for better Jamaica, and getting the process going. Yes. So for those of us who are watching us at home at the minute, what would you like to say to them? How can they get in contact? How can they join? Yes. I, I, I think with the, the whole advent of, of Barack Obama and the whole world of internet craze, we've got a, a, a Facebook page. And I say Facebook because that's the in thing. So let's start with the Facebook. Facilitators for Better Jamaica. That's our Facebook page. We have over 800 members and we, for the UK group, and we've got over 250 members for the Jamaica group. We also have a website, which is www.ffbj.org, which is FF, which is Freddie, Freddie, Bravo, Jamaica.org. And you can email at info at ffbj.org, info at ffbj.org. And um, yes, and you know, search Google, even type in facilitators for better Jamaica in Google. And you'll be surprised. So many things come up about FFBJ. And um, yes, and, and that's, 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 that's really good. Yeah. I don't want to put you on a time slot here, but what do we have to look forward to? Any other events, similar events, or people need to watch your space? Yes. The next events will not be in London. That's definitely. Because people are saying London is not the only place. So we're talking about Birmingham. We're talking about Manchester. I mean, we had something in Jamaica already at Eden Gardens. So we're talking about New York, we're talking about Canada, linking up with other guys to facilitate a better Jamaica and to, to get the word spread that, hey, we've got Jamaicans with political clout, economic clout, and that we are a nation that can pull ourselves together. And that's what, what we're about.